Hey guys, uh, Christopher here, and welcome to day five of Pixel Dailies. Uh, today's theme is Constantine. So, let's get stuck into that. Uh, sure, I'll stick with that size again. 96 by 48. Cool. Good big. Uh, let's make it a bit darker. Now, when I looked up Constantine, I noticed that there was a some new TV show. It might not even be new. I don't know. I've never watched it. So, I'm going to reference the uh, the movie Constantine because I have seen that with uh, old Keanu Reeves. So, again, with the... Uh, just doing the silhouette outline. We'll start with that. As always. It's just my favorite way of working, I guess. I really can't break this method. It's fun, it's good for getting quick ideas down. Plus, uh, I guess it, it comes from like a, a, ske a sketching sort of nature, so I used to sketch a lot, and I feel like I'm kind of uh, sketching with pixels when I do this. So that's uh, kind of a good step. Uh, I've got a reference image off to the side, as always, when I'm actually referencing material that exists. Okay, alright, let's go. He's got this like gun cross thing. I remember it from the movie, kind of. Um, it's showing it as gold and some and silver and as others. Actually, let's go with the silver. The silver will sh suit the monotone a bit better. Then we need a flesh tone of sorts. Let's make it quite pale. Okay, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, it needs hand. Okay, so this leg needs kind of a bit of a bend or something in it. It's just needs a bit more dimension. It's just a straight line at the moment, which is never good. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to that when we get the more of the pose in. Stick with that form for now. Bring this more to the center. Okay. Now, he this he has a white shirt. So let's bring that down a bit more. And he also has a black tie, so... Let's open his jacket up a bit and give us a bit more room to play with in here. Yeah. It's looking better. But I yeah, okay, they're cool. Hmm. Hard to get that tie in there. I just leave it like that for now. Bring this side in a bit more. 
cool. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, what's next? Guess this gun needs should have some highlights of sorts, otherwise it's a bit flat. Yeah. Cool, this is looking too bad. I'll just put one there. Okay. Uh, it needs, like, uh, shine now, so it needs, like, a super bright sort of layer. There we go. Now, with this white, I'll see if I can actually get it a bit there. See if I can get some bluish tinges in there. I remember learning this uh, about highlighting white or shading white with uh, blues. Uh, I learned this from Warhammer, if any of you guys play any Warhammer. I used to have a Space Wolves army once upon a time. And uh, I remember learning about that you could highlight or shade white with uh, blue through there. So, always kind of stuck with me. Uh, let's bring this down. And this and then bring his white color up. Oh. Yeah, it didn't really serve well. Always playing the design game. And that still looks better what I had originally. Funny that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, now in this, there's some nice like sort of uh, wing design going on behind. So I think I'm going to do some of that as well. So let's go. Uh, let me go here. It goes out like this. So wings are always about good flow. So uh, birds are very like they're designed for flight, and they they every every part of them is streamlined for flight. So when you do wings, and if they look a bit wonky, it really stands out. So just keep that in mind when you're doing wings that you know these things are supposed to make them fly, or you know, in some cases not fly if they're just wings for funny sake. Like uh, Watto from Star Wars. Even though he flies, it doesn't look like he should be able to fly, though. Okay. It's looking pretty good, actually. And I, before I get carried away, should move this to another layer. Alright, so you cut that out. Create a new layer. Paste that in. Now, something I noticed about... Oh, I didn't do it this time. Oh, no, I did and catch it out. So sometimes when you uh, when you cut and paste in pixel editor, it also takes the surrounding box, like regardless of what you've selected, uh, which I think is a bug. All right, that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take that, mirror it across. About the same size. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, grab both of these. Maybe shrink them down just a little bit. Losing kind of some of that shape as well, which is annoying. Oh, maybe I'll just stick with it. The reason why I'm doing it is because next to him, there's supposed to be like a, another figure who's kind of like a his demon adversary in the movie if I'm remembering this correctly now obviously I'm just putting black on black here uh, which is a little hard to see but I will fix that surely okay 
cool. All right, so if I take this layer and then we uh, go to here, and we can start turning down the opacity here. That's what I wanted to do. And I also want to move it behind that layer. Okay, and then we want to do something more interesting with this layer, gray layer. So let's fill it in. Uh, in here, they've used a nice blue, which works well with all the other colors that are going on. So it's a bluey green. Let's start with that. A little bit more blue. Yeah, cool. All right. Darker still. All right. And then we want to start coming in here and kind of uh, working our way in just to create uh, a better effect. Just frames everything a bit nicer. It's always nice to find like things that don't take too long to do with your backgrounds and they kind of just help frame what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with grey backgrounds though. If you just want to focus on your character, you feel like you're wasting time doing your background, then by all means, just leave it very simple. But I like to do stuff like this sometimes. Highlights through here. Uh, let's leave out the wings area. Okay, fill these ones in. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, finally got to go fix up his feet a bit. Yeah, it actually kind of works. His pants for that. Okay, let's uh, grab him, shift him up a bit. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll go there with him. Grab this background, select it all. And I'm kind of copying and pasting it up a bit. Actually, what I want is that layer. Yeah, cool. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, just going to fix up this. And this is probably one of the final things that I do. So making it just so it feels like it's coming up from the ground. Also, there's a silhouette of a few things in here, so maybe I'll put some of that in here just quickly. Like a cross. Uh, and some tombstones off to the side. Nothing says spooky and demonly than a tombstone. One more. Cool. Okay, so I think that one's about done for today. And there you have it. I'll uh, see you in the next one.